Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're going to be working with our 2001 Ford Ranger four-wheel drive. This vehicle is equipped with four-wheel anti-lock braking, or ABS. We're going to show you how to replace a front wheel speed sensor. If you like this video, please click subscribe. We have a ton more information on this truck, as well as many other makes and models. And if you need this part for your vehicle, you can follow the link down in the description over to 1AAuto.com. Here are the items you'll need for this repair. Using a taped flat blade screwdriver, locate the relief cuts in the hubcap. Stick the screwdriver in and pry out to release it from the wheel. This particular truck has a wheel lock on it, so we'll need the wheel lock key in order to remove it. Otherwise, the rest of the nuts come off with a 19 millimeter socket and breaker bar. Simply crack them loose for now. Then raise and support your vehicle and remove the lug nuts the rest of the way. Remove the wheel from the vehicle. Remove the two 15 millimeter bolts securing the caliper bracket to the spindle. Be sure to crack both of these loose before removing either one fully. Using a bungee cord, mechanics wire, or zip tie, secure the entire caliper bracket and assembly up out of your way. Remove your rotor. Remove the three eight millimeter bolts on the backing plate with a socket and ratchet. Remove the Allen bolt, securing your ABS sensor to the hub. This is a five millimeter Allen bit, or you can just use a regular Allen wrench. Our sensor is brand new, so it's actually gonna look a little easier than it usually is. But you can just grab these with a pair of pliers and work them back and forth, in and out. Go easy with them because you don't wanna break the sensor off in there. Follow the ABS sensor wire, and right up here behind the front bumper is our connector. Simply push down and disconnect it. Great use for these trim tools available from 1A Auto is popping out the connectors. Simply push it underneath the pad on the bottom of the retainer and pop them out. At the back of the spindle is an eight millimeter bolt. Securing the rest of the harness in place, we'll remove this with a socket and ratchet. Once the bolt is out, remove it from the vehicle. Reinstall the ABS harness. We have the one eight millimeter bolt connecting the harness at the rear of the spindle here. Tighten that bolt down with an eight millimeter socket and ratchet. Reattach the harness along the frame. These connectors simply pop back in. And reconnect the electrical connector at the end. Reinstall your ABS sensor and the five millimeter Allen bolt. Reinstall your backing plate and start the eight millimeter screws. Tighten up the eight millimeter screws.
Reinstall your rotor. One trick I like to use is taking an old axle nut and placing it over one of the wheel studs, putting a lug nut on, hand tight. This keeps the rotor upright while we install our caliper carrier and makes it that much easier. Unhang your caliper from whatever it is you hung it from. Reinstall all of it over the rotor. Reinstall your two 15 millimeter bolts. Tighten down the hardware with a socket and ratchet. Torque the bolts to 85 foot-pounds. Remove the lug nut and axle nut from your rotor. Reinstall your wheel and tire. And start your lug nuts by hand. Torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a cross pattern. Reinstall your center cap and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.